This Carson Wentz thing gets weirder and weirder by the minute. And if some of the rumors that are out there are true, it's time for the Eagles to clean house. Still the cowboy, Mr. McLean. You Americans are all alike. But this time, John Wayne doesn't walk into the sunset with Grace Kelly. It's Gary Cooper, asshole. <laughs> 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 Trails, Hans. Dallas still stinks. Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding back here. So this whole Carson Wentz thing gets weirder and weirder by the minute. By the minute, because we got so much speculation, so many rumors being said on TV, on the radio, it's hard to know what the truth is and what is speculation and just rumors. So what I want to do in this video is I want to tell you what I know to be the truth and what I know to be rumors and speculation, and you can take both those things and come up with your own conclusion as to what the hell is going on. Now, what we do know is we know that Carson has had back problems since mid-October. He's had back problems, back spasms, back pain. He showed up on the injury report a couple times, and this thing has continued. Now, apparently the Eagles have said that he's had CAT scans and nothing has showed up until the most recent CAT scan, which showed a microfracture in one of his vertebrae in his back. Now, the good news with this injury is that it will heal with time 100% and he doesn't need surgery, so that's good. The bad news is if they would have diagnosed this in October, Carson Wentz would have already been out a few weeks and he would have been back ready to go. But because it took so long, he may miss the last three games. Um, and that's what we know. We know that for the most part for a fact. Now, where it gets weird is some of the things that are being talked about on the radio, on TV, and some of the speculation and some of the rumors that are out there. Now, I can't confirm that these are true, but these are important to talk about because it's just so bizarre. And if it is truth, and it is fact, and this did happen, not only should the entire medical staff be fired, but I would say most of the Eagles front office should be fired too. Now, I don't know that this is true, but what they're saying on 97.5 specifically, they're reporting that basically the doctors knew, the medical staff knew since October that Carson had a fractured vertebrae. The front office knew that Carson had a fractured vertebrae, a microfracture. But they didn't tell Carson and they didn't tell Duck. So all this time, he's been playing hurt, not knowing what's wrong, Doug not knowing what's wrong. And then all of a sudden, after it gets worse and worse, they finally say you got a microfracture in your back. Now, if this is the case, this is bad. This is horrible. First of all, the medical staff would have to be fired. And I'm not sure they shouldn't be fired anyways. I mean, they are in their first year. But look at all the weird things that have happened. Jay Ajayi, he's hurt. And all of a sudden, the next day, ACL out of nowhere. Was a misdiagnosis? Jernigan, he's supposed to practice every week. Never does. Never ready. Matt Collins. Um, look at all the things that have happened to him. Where is he? He was supposed to be back week 11. Never happened. Um, all these guys are having weird things happen with the medical staff. Darren Sproles, has anybody ever taken so long to come back from a hamstring from week one to how long it did take? So something is not right with this medical staff. Is it because it's their first year or not? Now they're saying that the Eagles are the only team in the league that doctor, they're their own doctor, does not go and travel with the team. Every other team has a doctor that travels with them except the Eagles. If this is true, this is really bizarre. And if they knew Carson had an injury, if they knew and didn't tell him, that's like malpractice. Okay, you could get in trouble for that. And if Howie Roseman, that front office, knew and didn't protect your franchise quarterback that you went and got all these picks for, then, then, then you should be fired too. Because you can't do that. You can't put your players in harm way, in harm's way. And what they're saying on 97.5 is the players are pissed off. They don't trust the medical staff now. I don't know if this is true. This is just a rumor and speculation. We don't know. What we do know is Carson has a microfracture in his vertebrae in his back. And it's been bothering him since October. And nobody has been able to figure this out until recently. And the other thing is, is if Doug 
Doug Peterson knows Carson has back problems, knows that he's coming off the ACL. Why the hell are they running read options with Carson Wentz, especially on the short side of the field? Doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why you would run a read option with a guy coming back from an ACL, but I especially don't understand why you would do it with a guy that's got a bad knee and in a bad back on top of it. It makes no sense. Are we putting Carson Wentz in the best position to succeed? From the front office, from the medical staff, from the coaches. That's what I want to know because that's the most important thing. He is your franchise quarterback. Okay, so these are all the weird things that are going on with this story. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know. I don't know if it's true that Carson that they didn't tell Carson. I, I'm sure the Eagles are going to deny that. I mean, they got to deny it. They get in trouble. Okay, maybe they went to Carson and said, "You have a, a, a fracture, micro fracture in your back, but if you can play through it, you're not going to do more damage." And he said, "I'll try to play through it," and hasn't been able to. But clearly. Clearly, since the bye week, since around the time that this back problem came up, he has been a different quarterback than he was earlier in the year. Sure, he had his problems earlier in the year, Carolina and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. But for the most part, he was pretty good. Four games straight with over 115 point something pass rating is pretty good, especially for, for a guy coming back from a knee injury, you know, a major knee injury. So... This is weird. There's a whole weird situation. I think more is going to come out. My personal thoughts on it is Carson has a bad back. He needs time to heal. Shut him down. Shut him down for the rest of the year. Let him get fully healthy. Let him have a fall season to practice, do OTAs and all that kind of stuff. And let him come back 100%. He is your franchise quarterback. He is the quarterback for the next 10, 15 years. We need him healthy. So he's got to get healthy. Um... The other thing is, you got Nick Foles. You're paying Nick Foles a lot of money. Nick Foles is making a lot of money. He can win in the playoffs. He can win the big games. I trust Nick Foles. You know, there's this, there's this thought out there by a lot of Eagle fans that if you like Carson, you don't like Nick. If you don't like, if you like Nick, you don't like Carson. I don't understand it. I like both guys. I root for both guys. I root whoever puts that helmet on. That's who I'm rooting for. So I support Carson. I support Nick Foles. Sure, Carson Wentz is my favorite player in the league. I make no no bones about it. Of course he is. But I love Nick Foles. He's a legend. And I will be rooting for Nick Foles to go in and double moonwalk the Rams' ass. I believe he could do it. Okay? But, you know, this whole thing with Carson and injury, I, I don't like what we're seeing. I don't like what we're seeing out of the medical staff. I don't like we're seeing these rumors coming out. Carson, sh they should have figured this out back in October. One way or the other, they shouldn't have let this guy go back on the field with a bad back. That's how I feel about it. So, what are your thoughts on this whole thing? Kind of crazy. Let me know. I'll be curious to hear what you have to say. And let's see what turns out to be just rumors or false information or and what you know, what turns out to be real. I'll be very curious about it, but I've given you the facts. I've given you the rumors and, you know, things that are just out there. And, you know, we'll see what, what it's true and what turns out to be right. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.